Uh, it is a great opportunity to come your way again looking at issues um, relating to how to engage children uh, during this uh, period of lockdown and the advantages that it brings to us, the bond that we create uh, with our children and the things that we need to do to engage their minds. Uh, we started looking at issues of how children are made up, the makeup of children. Uh, yesterday, we looked at issues of the cognitive development and how indeed we need to uh, place uh, them in terms of how we want to engage them and all that so that we don't put them on the same level and assume that they would all respond to things exactly as they are. So basically today we would want to talk about how to understand uh, children and understanding children there is a way that we can go about it and one of the ways that for me we can look at it from is the issue of how children can participate when they are home. And once we're talking about participation, uh, there's so many ways that you can you can allow children to participate. But one basic thing that allow you to uh, engage children in the process is for them to also share their opinion on matters that concerns them, as well as matters that goes on in the house. So if you really want to engage children properly, then you have to understand they also expressing their opinion on matters is another way that you can get them. So let's simply start a simple exercise. Engaging children in, uh, to participate or to, to, to be involved in the decision-making process do not only mean that uh, they decide whatever they say becomes the norm or whatever they say is what you have to do, but it is also an issue of their understanding what is required of them to do and all that. So these are things that Personally, I feel we should do. But the basic exercise that we can start, if you're at home as parent, I think that the the, the planning the menu at home, uh, parent must engage children in the process. So a simple exercise. Early in the morning, you wake up, you'd ask children to uh, come out with um, what they feel they want to do. Uh, or what the menu is like at home, and so uh, this is what we want to do. So bring out your views and all that. You see them engaging, having fun about the whole thing. Then you draw a conclusion as to what exactly you want to do for that particular day. This can also relate to the kind of games and play that you want to have at home. Try to engage the minds of children. So children, you call them around. In a, in a, in a, our local setting where we tell stories, uh, you break the news to them in a certain way that would make them have interest in whatever you are, you you are saying. Then you set the tone for discussion at home. So let's start with this simple exercise where we can engage them through the planning of the menu at home. Uh, they also bring in their views on board in terms of the kind of play system that we want to establish at home. And then also uh, let them also be part of the solution. Uh, there are a lot of things that we do at home that brings us the, the, the innovative aspect of children. That is uh, uh, games like um, normally the ones that they, they will hide items and they would ask children to look for it and all that. It brings it brings things out of them. And I think that a uh, parent must also adopt that process of letting them know. So basically, uh, let's start with this and see. It would also come your way with the issues of um, uh, punishment and discipline uh, tomorrow. So today, this is how we're going to end it. And I hope that we would all be there and then do things in a manner that will respond to the needs of our children. Thank you very much. Bye.